hello, can you multiply 517 times 612 and do it in your head? Keep watching to find out how. And in this section, we're going to learn a very impressive and very powerful technique to multiply any three-digit number times any other three-digit number. So this method works for really any number. It's not a specific type or class of number. So that's what makes it so versatile and so powerful. Uh, what we need to do is make sure that you've already watched the last section on three-digit times two-digit multiplication uh, because we did a lot of crisscross multiplication in that section and really uh, we're going to use the exact same method here uh, and just take it one step further by making our bottom number just a little bit bigger and so you'll see that uh, once you understand the last section this section's a piece of cake and you'll be really impressive uh, to your friends and also speeding yourself up on your test and on your exams. So what we're going to do really is progress in exactly the same way uh, that we did in the last section. First, we're going to start in the right-hand column and do this multiplication. So we'll do 4 times 2, and that gives us an 8. So we're writing down the answer, the digits of the answer as we go. The last digit in the answer is an 8. Next, we expand a little bit and do a crisscross multiplication with these two columns. And so we multiply. Here we have 0 times 2 gives me 0. 4 times 0 gives me 0. We add them together and we get zero. So we just write down the answer of zero here. So this crisscross becomes quite easy. We get a zero. Next we expand a little bit more and do the three-way crisscross like we did in the last section going this direction. Two times two is four. Three times four is twelve. So twelve and four are going to give us sixteen. And the third leg of it is zero times zero in this case. So it doesn't contribute at all. So we're going to get sixteen. So we write a six and we'll carry a one and we'll just carry it in any um, any location that makes sense there. It doesn't matter what column we're doing it in. We're just putting it uh, wherever it's convenient because we'll need to use that here in a second. Next we'll go off to the left and do crisscross on these two two columns right here. Multiplying two times zero gives me zero. Three times zero gives me zero. So adding them together we still get zero. We add the guy that we carried which is a one. So ultimately we only end up writing a one down here. And finally, the last guy is just multiplying this right here, the leading two digits here, 2 times 3 gives us 6. So the answer is 61,608. And, uh, you know, notice we didn't really write too many steps down here, so it's, it's pretty impressive that you can multiply numbers this large and do it in such a rapid manner. And I guarantee you, with practice, you will be able to do this kind of thing in your head. The trick is, Working from the right, you have to multiply this guy, then do a crisscross with the last two columns, then do a three-way crisscross, adding everything up as we go, uh, and adding anything that we've carried, and then do a two-way crisscross in the leading two columns, and then finally it's the leading uh, guys right here. And so we'll get a lot more practice with this as we move along, but I will tell you one thing. Anytime you have a zero in your number, whether it's you know, a zero in the center here or in the right hand side or in the left hand side or anywhere else, it's going to make the problem easier because these multiplication by zero is basically going to simplify your math considerably. Okay, our next problem is 407 times 311. And we notice we have a zero here, so we expect to get some nice simplifications in our multiplication here. But we start as we always do in the right hand column. Seven times one gives us seven. Next, we expand and do this crisscross here. We have 7 times 1 giving us 7 plus this 0. This multiplication gives us 0, so we're left with simply 7 again. Next, we expand one more time and do the three-way crisscross. Here we have 7 times 3 is 21. 4 times 1 is 4, so 21 plus the 4 gives us 25. This contributes nothing, so it's this is 21 plus 4 gives me 25, plus with this multiplication gives us nothing, so we put a 5 here and simply carry a 2, just floats around there for our next multiplication. And finally in the leading two columns we do this crisscross, 4 times 1 is 4, this contributes nothing because it gives us 0, so 4 plus 0 is 4, plus 2 just gives us a 6. And finally, the last part of it is multiplying the leading column here. 4 times 3 is 12. There's nothing else to multiply or to carry to, so we just basically put it down here. 126,577. Now notice how incredibly fast we got that. You didn't have to, you know, if you were doing this by hand, so to speak, you'd multiply every digit here, stick a zero, multiply every digit here, stick two zeros, multiply every digit here, and then you'd have to sum everything up. And that's almost hopeless for most people to be able to carry that many 
many digits in their head. But when you have something like this, it's quite manageable. 7 times 1 gave us 7. Doing this crisscross gave us 7. Doing the large crisscross, 21 plus the 4, 25. 5, carry the 2. Leading crisscross, 4 plus this gives me 4 plus the 2 gave me the 6, and then finally 4 times 3 is 12, 126,577. All right, the next problem is 123 times 221. Notice there aren't any zeros in this problem, so be a little bit more involved, but really not that, that much uh, more difficult. Start in the right-hand column. 3 times 1 gives us 3, so we'll write a 3 down. Next, we do a crisscross in the right-hand columns. 6, because 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 2. 6 plus 2 gives us 8. Now we do the three-way crisscross. Here we have 3 times 2 is 6, plus the 1, so 6, plus the 1 is 7, plus the 4 gives us 11. So we write 1 and carry a 1. Next we do a crisscross in the leading two columns. 2 times 2 is 4, plus the 2 gives us 6, plus the 1 we carried gives us 7. So we write a 7 down. Uh, next, we do the leading guy here. 2 times 1 gives us 2. We've already used the guy that we've carried, so we are basically done. 27,183. And notice how fast that was compared to multiplying everything and adding it all together. Okay, here's our next problem. 131 times 121. Start in the right-hand column. 1 times 1 gives us 1. Next, we do a crisscross. This gives us 3. 3 times 1 is 3. This gives us 2 because 1 times 2 is 2, so 3 plus 2 gives us 5. Next we do a 3-way crisscross. This gives us 1, this gives us 1, and this gives us 6. So what we have is 6, 7, 8. We write down an 8. Next we do a crisscross in the leading two columns. 3 plus 2 gives us 5. And next we do a leading crisscross uh, actually, it's not even a crisscross, a leading multiplication in the first column. 1 times 1 gives us 1. So we have 15,851. That's the final answer. And notice in this case, because the numbers were small enough, we didn't have to carry anything. We really didn't show anything at all. So it's, it's quite impressive for you to write these numbers down and show a friend that you can write the answer down really without, without doing anything at all. The trick is you need to be comfortable multiplying quickly in your head and doing this addition. And that has sort of been the cornerstone of this course up until this point. So if you practice those skills, you see it's like anything else. You build your skills one step at a time, and then all of a sudden you're able to do some pretty impressive things. Okay, the next problem is 415 times 306. And I guarantee you, most people, if you ask them to multiply 415 times 306, even if you give them a pencil and paper, uh, it will take them quite a long time to do all of that. Potential for error is is there. So you're having a a nice lesson in how to do this rapidly. So what we do is we start in the right. 6 times 5 is 30. Write a 0, carry a 3. Doesn't matter where we write the 3. Next we do a small crisscross on the right hand columns. This gives us 6. 6 times 1 is 6. This gives us nothing. So 6 plus the 3 we carried gives us a 9. Next we do a 3 way crisscross. 6 times 4 is 24. 3 times 5 is 15. This doesn't uh, give us anything. 1 times 0 gives us 0. And this 3 we've already used before, so 6 times 4 is 24 plus the 15, so 24, 34, 39. So we'll write a 9 and carry a 3. Next we do a crisscross in the leading two columns. 1 times 3 is 3. This contributes 0, so 3 plus the 3 gives us a 6. And finally, we've done a crisscross here, so the only thing left to do is our leading multiplication. 4 times 3 gives us 12. 126,990. Okay, our next problem is 427 times 237. And there are no zeros here, so we're going to end up using a little more mental math skills. And what you'll find also is as the numbers get larger and larger, you're going to end up having to carry a little bit more each time and sort of do addition of numbers that is a little bit larger with each each time these numbers get bigger. So uh, as the numbers get larger, you'll just need to be a little more careful when you're doing your mental addition that you're getting it correct. So let's go. 7 times 7 is 49. So we'll put a 9. We'll carry a 4. Then we do this crisscross here. 7 times 3 is 21. 2 times 7 is 14. So we start with 21, adding the 14. 21, 31, 35, because we're adding 14. So 21, 31, 35 plus the 4 gives us 39. 
So we'll do a 9, and we'll do a 3. 28, 38, 42, plus the 6 is going to give us 48, plus the 3 is going to give us 51. So we'll write a 1 and carry a 5. And then finally we'll do this guy here, this crisscross. Here we have 12, 4 times 3 is 12, plus the 4. So 12 plus the 4 is going to give us 16, plus the 5 is going to give us 21. So we'll put a 1, carry a 2. Finally we'll do the leading guy here, 4 times 2 is 8, plus the 2 gives us 10. So we have 101,199. Okay, our next problem is 517 times 612. Start in the right-hand column. 7 times 2 is 14, so we'll put a 4, carry a 1. Do a crisscross in the right-hand columns. 7 plus 2 gives us 9, plus 1 gives us 10. Now we'll do a three-way crisscross. Here we have 7 times 6 is 42, and we're adding to it this 10 because 5 times 2 is 10. So we have 42 plus this gives us 52, plus this guy, plus this 1, gives us 53, plus the carry gives us 54. So we'll put a 4, carry the 5. Now we'll do this crisscross. We have 6 plus 5 is 11, plus this 5 gives us 16. So we'll put a 6, carry a 1. Then we'll do the leading multiplication. 6 times 5 is 30, plus 1 is 31. So 316,404. Now I know that it does involve a little bit of mental gymnastics, but if I told you that in five minutes you might learn how to multiply 517 times 612 rapidly and get an answer of 316,404, I bet you most people wouldn't believe me. Okay, the next problem is 624 times 316. We'll start in the right-hand column. 6 times 4 is 24, so we'll put a 4 and carry the 2. And next we'll do a crisscross here. So we have 12, 2 times 6 is 12, plus the 4 gives us 16, plus the 2 gives us 18. So we'll write an 8, carry the 1. Now we'll do a three-way crisscross. You've got to be careful here. 6 times 6 is 36, 4 times 3 is 12. So starting with 36 plus the 12, so 36, 46, uh, 48, plus this 2 gives us 50, plus this is 51. So we'll put a 1, carry a 5. Now we do this crisscross. We have 2 times 3 is 6, plus this 6 gives us 12, plus this gives us 17. So we'll put a 7 and carry a 1. Lastly, we'll do 6 times 3 gives us 18, plus the 1 gives us 19. 197,184. Okay, our final problem will be 908 times 525. So we'll start in the right-hand column. 8 times 5 is 40, so we'll put a 0 carry the 4. We'll do a crisscross here. This gives us 0, so 8 times 2 gives us 16, plus the 4 gives us 20. So 0, carry a 2. Now we'll do a 3-way crisscross here. So what we have is 9 times 5 is 45, but 8 times 5 is 40. So 45 plus the 40 gives us 85. This contributes nothing, so it doesn't do anything. So 85 plus the 2 gives us 87. So we'll put 7 and carry an 8. So for this leading crisscross, we'll have 0 times 5 gives us 0. It contributes nothing. 9 times 2 is 18, plus the 8 uh, is going to give us 26. So we'll put a 6 and carry a 2. And finally, the leading multiplication, 9 times 5 is 45, plus the 2 gives us 47. So the final answer is 476,700, and that's the final answer. So I hope you've enjoyed this section. Crisscross multiplication of three-digit numbers times three-digit numbers uh, is definitely challenging, but it's actually so much faster than doing all this multiplication and addition by hand that I think if you invest a little bit of time in it, uh, you'll find yourself getting so quick at it, it'll just boggle your mind how you can do this fast multiplication of very large numbers, getting very large answers, and it'll almost see like seem like magic to your friends. But more importantly than that is if you're under a time crunch on any kind of test or homework environment, uh, being able to do quick, rapid uh, mental arithmetic like this, or even if you're using pencil and paper, being able to do it so rapidly like this can really be the uh, silver bullet that you have to help you succeed. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.